Today I've got a special treat for you. As far as I know, the largest African cichlid facility on the planet. This place has 2,500 aquariums and over a million liters of water. All the Mabuna African cichlids are bred here in-house. So I thought I would start with some of the show tanks, I suppose. So one, you can come here and buy as the public. You've got chairs to sit down. There's a guest book there. You can just see the rows and rows and rows. This is going to be a long video because there's every type of African cichlid you've ever seen. And then a hundred more you haven't. And every variant you've ever seen. And not only do they have fry for sale, they've got adults for sale, they've got medium size for sale. Like each row is basically a type of fish. But then they also have, you know, displays set up. Look at these Electra, the blue with the black stripe there. Great fish. It's hard to describe until you're here, but it's not hot, it's not humid. It's super clean. To the best way I can describe it is, if Dean was into African cichlids, he would do this. The technology is insane. Everything's out of water changing. You've got valves everywhere. You've got dosing pumps. You've got everything you could want. Now I'm gonna blow your guys' mind a little bit. This facility that is bigger than any fish farm I've been to, by the way, is run by five people. A mom and pop, basically husband and wife, and three employees. Yeah, so the timers that are controlling solenoid valves for water changes. You can see the all the ducting for all the heating in here. They're running matten filters on everything. Five people taking care of 2,500 aquariums and they're all big these aren't small aquariums these are like in the u.s gallons like 150 gallon tanks yeah that's just a tank of electras right there it's insane the amount of fish i don't know if you guys like yeah these are displays showing off the back to nature kind of rock work and and scapes and things but they also have like every African cichlid publication ever. We were asking, and he actually has F1 and F2 yellow labrachromis. There are some people that import these into America, but he's looking for more people to import all around the world. Yeah, dolphin head cichlid, adults, or more eye. You've got babies right above. You've got the next two generations right here and here. But I've seen way more than this here. So it's not like, oh, they only have a few hundred. You start looking, you see show males, like every row. So this, this row right here, let me zoom in for you, is all Copacromus. This row is all Protomelius. So you got the Protomelius Taveni Taiwan Reefs. These guys look really good for the males. You can see some more down there. It's unbelievable to me because this is better than any any wholesale i've ever seen when it comes to mabuna they sell uh tanganyika but they import them they don't breed those so just know that but you can see here they've sold or shipped these out it's a couple tanks free they say it takes them um, two people it takes two people about two hours each to feed or between four and five hours to feed the 2500 tanks if one person does it yeah, this is still just Taiwan Reef. That's the craziest part is they, not only do they have every variant, they've got it in massive numbers. Every tank has its own nets. You can see, as far as the eye can see, nets. They don't cross contaminate. It's, it's exactly like what you would want. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nets. Like, 30 to maybe 50, maybe 50 aquariums of just of any Taiwan reef. Yeah, I, I can't even do this place justice other than showing you guys cool stuff. And that's what I'm just gonna have to do because there's breeding rooms. They also have some angelfish and that kind of stuff because they are a, 
I don't want to call them a store because they're a breeding facility and wholesaler and, you know, they're all of that. And more Electras. I like these guys a lot. Looks like someone's here to shop. And they're all looking good, too. That's the thing. I don't see any fish that aren't looking amazing. If you're into African cichlids, there is no better place on this earth. I've been to some good places in Israel and things like that, and they're amazing. Show tanks back here. These Bordelai? Where are these back here? Let's see if it'll say. No, it doesn't say. Is it glass up top? Nope. It's a greenhouse sighting. Ah, upside down rock to make that look. So, swims underneath. You better run, Chris. <laughs> Otherwise, the people would think I'm a Malawi guy again. Yeah, again. Yeah. Can I'm you? A, I'm a shrimp person. I'm a nano person, but trying to hide, Corey. Could you imagine if this was your local fish store, though? You'd have to keep Malawi. I wish. I would totally fall again for Malawi because yeah. what I see here is like it blows me every time off my shoes. That's why they're open because. It's, it's amazing. It just blows me up and I've been here. There's several species that I have not seen before. Me too. I know that they exist, but I have not seen them in any pet shop, in any fair. But if you see, for example, species like that, and you see them, the males in color, it's just like, wow, it's clean. It makes me yeah. feel like I want to be here. And that's the point. You know, yesterday I fell in love two times. I told you about that. Yeah. Today I fall in love probably 100 times. So. Enjoy. You haven't yes. seen me, Corey. I know. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> we could spend hours. Well, we're going to spend hours here filming to make the best video for you guys we can. It's just, look at these lithobates. Oh no, they're not. They're, uh, maybe down below or I don't know if they, like, tested the spot to know it's slightly low in temperature or something but it's like every three bays they put a little circulation fan like even if you just set up a tank and you have to drill it right and you got to put the matten filters in you're probably 20 30 minutes in each and there's 2500 of them if you're not in african cichlids that's a bummer but if you are this is the best you have to make the trek you have to come out someday put it on your bucket list so here we're getting to the front where they've got foods and packing stations and display tanks. Attention to detail where they brought the rocks up and then they carry it down below. So it actually looks like it's below the water. But you can see it goes way far down there. That's, that's all just all in a car. That's just Mabuna, like Demosoni and, and uh, Pollets and uh, the Yellow Labs, that kind of stuff. So these are all the countries, if there's a pin on it, they get shipped out. It looks like in America, we've got somewhere near Los Angeles, somewhere in Chicago, and somewhere near New York slash Niagara Falls. Lots in Europe but also to Malaysia and Thailand. Huh, they shipped to Guangzhou, Hong Kong. Ah, yes, Aquahaz Gas. So that's what you want to look up. I'm gonna ask if I can buy some of these fake plants for my turtle tank. Like a really special type of rubber. I don't know what they're made out of, but it's like a rubbery plastic. And I don't know, maybe, the, maybe it'll be all the same just like every other one, but they feel different, and you can get them all the way into these super long ones, which I feel like is pretty cool. But when you get into the all in a car, that's where you're going to really start seeing the color. Most people know these. Like, here's a bunch of OB peacocks. All the way from fire OBs, strawberry OBs. You can see they're bringing in the air in this big, like, inch and a half or two inch pipe. Nice big fake rocks you can buy. On a car, Red Reuben, one of my favorites. These look great. 
More red Reuben, look at that guy. So the boys have all the color, the females typically not. So this is this looks like a breeding group. Well, I guess there's three males and a bunch of girls. Then you get the fire dragon or the red dragon albino version. So pretty intense. Do we have any of like the, the more pinkish ones? I can't get over how clean this place is. Like, I haven't seen a single dead fish on the floor or anything. They even have hardwood floors. Look at that. It's like it's a basketball court or something here. Look at these guys, a Benchai. Is it Benchai? Let's see. No, it's something else. What is that? I don't know these guys, but man, they look good. Tanks and tanks of them, so don't worry. They'll have them if you ever come or order them. Really, this is gonna be the best video for anybody that owns an African cichlid store or orders from these guys, because you'll get to, like, this is just crazy. Look at the color on these. Eureka Reds, wow. This is a fish that was always so hard to get for us in the store, the Eurekas. Oh, it's even better down here. Look how many males. People would kill to have access and pick out their breeder males and stuff like that. Wow. And then you just pop over and you're like, wait, is there another like 30 rows? You better believe there's unlimited. They just have like every collection point. So if you guys don't know, in, in the lakes, depending on where they're collected, they've been separated long enough that they'll look, it'll be a different color variant. And so much so you can have some fish that'll be white, some will be yellow. Just because they've been separate off for thousands of years. Alanacara cobalt blue or kobu. Looking good. I think I saw on the sign that this place is 3,000 square meters, which, like my warehouse, I don't know how many square meters it is, but it easily like fits in this room, and there's so many more rooms. There's all of that I haven't shown you over there, which is really big. Some grow out species, I believe. But this is after they get tanked up. There's still more steps. Shipping boxes. And then this, this room is pretty cool, I think. So it's loud, I know, I'll talk, uh, I'll speak up. But look at controlling everything. And they've built the walkways up so that you can walk over all the drainage piping. When you start looking in, they're just growing out fish. Remember when I used to do this way back in, the, like one of the first fish meets you guys followed me with? These are all this IBC totes. Copatochromus cadango, look at the colors. Look at that. More eye. I wonder if they're, I wonder if these are breeders? They're pretty big. More backgrounds. Oh, I'll show you the filtration for this system that we just walked by. Two giant pumps. This is basically like bio balls, just filled. And then they've got another one of the brushes and another one of the brushes. You can take these out and clean them, which is nice. So you can see it goes back into more and more rooms it's just more. Everything about this place is more. This whole facility is run by five people. I'm sure they work very hard, they work long hours, but man. So imagine you didn't like African cichlids. Look how many cardinal tetras there are. Like you get 20 of them for 36 euros, 50 for 80, 100 for 150 euros, so $1.50 each. Not huge on the plants. All right, so you'd be a little sad. But they still have tons of fish, shrimp, all that kind of stuff in here. Like, you know, here's neon, neon yellows, for instance. Look at all the apistos. More apistos. Celestial Pearl Danios. Neon Green Rasbora, Kabodai. What I like is everywhere they've got places to sit and enjoy. It's unfortunate this video 
will probably not do that well on my channel because we don't focus on this, but someone who focuses on African cichlids should really make sure this gets the views. Demosoni, that was one of my first Africans ever. A nice dwarf, real good color pattern. They get more big like this. You pair those with some yellow labs. Oh, here's some adults. You can see how they, they really start coloring up. Or I guess I, I should say Demasoni, because I've met Mr. Demasoni, or Mas Mr. Demason. So this is Lake Tanganyika. Now they mostly import and don't breed these, but they still have quite a selection of sips. Ooh, tanks I didn't see. Nice. There's that Valisneria. Looks pretty good. Uh oh, I found their secret. Nice lupi. Their secret. Looks like they have a floor polisher. Their secret's out. Yeah, feather fins. Feather fins are some of the nicest. They get those long trailers down low. They take years to color up though, and that sheen on them. That cal yeah, it is Caliochromus. You see the burrow they built to breed? There, there, and there. That's how they breed. Eolampologus negervinus. Random uh, cardinals. That looks pretty cool, huh? So this is typically we'd see like a wholesaler. Look at them schooling. Here we go, finally, Benchai. That I was talking about earlier. I want to call it Benchai. What are they hiding back here where you can't go? Maybe the breeders? I can see some pretty big fish. There we go. Miami eye biter. Ooh, look, a net out of place. We caught him, finally. So there you go. Coolest African cichlid store, biggest, insane. Check this video out though, because this one's also insane that we just filmed while we're here in Germany. Crazy.